Hello students. Today I'm going to take you through the steps required to set up your RS Logix 5000 network. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on network places. We're going to hit properties. This is going to bring up all of our network connections. Now you may have one with an exclamation point here and this is the network that we're going to configure. So we're going to right click on that and we're going to hit properties again by left clicking. As you can see that brings up our network. We're going to double click on the internet protocol and here we're going to change this from an automatic IP address to tell it which address to use. Okay, and this is the actual PLC address that the computer is using so we're going to go 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot and whatever your particular computer address is mine's going to be 30. And then we're going to enter the subnet mask, which is 255. dot zero, and hit OK. Once you hit OK here, you should see that your network is going to try to make the connection. Okay, now you can see that it's connected here. Okay, so we can go ahead and close that window. Now we're going to open RS Links Classic, hit Communications, and Configure Drivers. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because I want to show you from the beginning. So I'm going to hit the down arrow. I'm going to choose an Ethernet Devices and hit Add New. This is the default name. I'll just go ahead and hit OK for that. And here I'm going to enter the address of the Ethernet IP card, which is in the chassis of your rack. 10.10. and whatever your address card number is is what you're going to want to put here. Mine happens to be 40. I'm going to hit add new and now we're going to add the panel view. So and then the last few digits of whatever your panel view is. I'm going to do 50 here on mine and then I'm going to click OK. Notice that window goes away. Now notice the driver is running. We can hit close. Now we go to communications and we click on RS who. Okay, expand this window by clicking on the square. And these are the drivers that are running. So we're going to double click on the Ethernet one driver. That's a left click. And you can see now it's browsing the network. It has found node 10.10.10.40, which is the actual Ethernet card. Notice I have a 10.10.10.50, which is an unrecognized device. And that's because really I don't have a panel view connected. I just did that to show you for addressing purposes. So important things here are to see that there's a plus button here, which means there's additional information. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And that brings up the back plane. The back plane is where all the modules are inserted. So I'm going to click the plus button again. And now you can see it's browsing our network. Okay, our network consists of all the components in our chassis. So we've got all these different items on the network. These are nodes. And the important information here is to click on them, left click on one of them, turn it blue, and then right click on it for properties. Important information is needed here so that we can program it in RS Logix 5000. First of all, you need the device name, 1756IB16, and the I, of course, stands for input. And the next two things that are really important are the revision and the serial number. Make sure you jot these numbers down for future reference. Revision of this one is 2.6. So hit close. Then we'll do the same thing. We're going to right click on each one of these and hit device properties, noting the revision, the type of device, and the serial number. Going to the processor now, device properties. This is a revision 15.3. And hit close. And then we're going to just continue on through each one of these until we find all of the device properties. Okay, 
So continue on with that, writing down all the information, and then hit close. Okay, go ahead and minimize this window. And then open and close that software a few times in practice. Okay, so that is the end of how to configure your network. Just make sure that when you're done, all of your cards are showing so that we can actually send a program to the PLC.